Portal 3 and Half-Life 3. The two topics that are that have been on my mind for the past several months. And um, ever since E3 of this year, uh, I, I've been super excited about the technology that was going to come out, Oculus Rift that's been improved, and um, all the great games that are getting ready to come out, or have already come out. <clears throat> so, now we come towards Portal 2, or, no, not Portal 2, excuse me, Portal 3 and Half-Life 3. While everybody, I mean everybody, is say oh valve can't count the three they can only count the two and I'm sitting here like portal three has been confirmed many times half-life three has been confirmed many times although I don't have proof it's all over the inter interweb all you have to do is just google it it's, a, it's there don't worry it's there it's not on the Valve website, it's not on Steam, so where is it? Well, if you guys don't remember, back in 2012, a leaked trailer from Valve introduced Portal 3. In fact, there are several of these leaked trailers around YouTube. All you have to do is type in Portal 3 leaked trailer it's there I promise you and yes this is actually portal 3 so I don't know what everybody is on their on the bridge of just doing whatever just to try to get Portal 3 and Half-Life 3 even though the two has been confirmed for the past three years we all know that Portal 3 was going to be coming after Portal 2 we all know that Half-Life 3 was going to come after Half-Life 2 why would Valve stop making Half-Life and Portal? well then we come to a conclusion that me and several of my friends have been talking about that Valve renamed their games it will not be called Half-Life 3 and Portal 3 it will instead Half-Life 3 will be called Black Mesa and Portal 3 will be called Aperture Laboratories Why not Aperture Science? Well, that's not up to me. That's up to Valve and their little thing. So, really, I don't really know why they're, if they're really renaming their games to Black Mesa and Aperture Laboratories or whatever they're going to do. But there is a huge rumor that for Portal 3 or Aperture Laboratories, that you get to do the same crap that you do on Steam with the consoles of course create your own little test chamber uh, upload it to the Steam Workshop and uh, try it out on not only the PC version but the console version and all that great stuff and there's really no difference between the two versions the console and the PC versions of uh, Portal 2 so there should have been a map implementation for Portal 2 for the consoles if not the PlayStation 3 exclusive since the PlayStation 3 exclusive gives PC people a free copy a free Steam copy of Portal 2 yeah several of my friends weren't happy about that but that's why I go for PlayStation all the time anyways Portal 3 and and um, 
Half-Life 3 then, should it be on the old consoles? Yes, it should. Why? Because it gives the old con or the people who plays the old consoles a chance to relive memories from Portal 1, Portal 2, and of course we have Portal 3, and then sooner or later the, cons the, the old consoles will eventually die off just like the PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox did, they will eventually stop making discs for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. We just don't know when, because right now, we're still coming into the new consoles. We're still grabbing games for the new consoles. It's not like we have a huge library of games that are specifically for the new consoles. Uh, we got Grand Theft Auto that's coming out this month. We got Grand Theft Auto, or uh, yeah, Grand Theft Auto that's coming out this month for the new consoles. It's actually um, two Tuesdays from now that Grand Theft Auto 5 will come out for the new consoles. Not only that, Call of Duty recently came out. Heard it was a piece of shit. Battlefield's coming out. Battlefield Hardline. Several other games, Destiny, Game of the Year, Watch Dogs, other Game of the Year. I mean, if those games don't pop an image into your head that oh, there's no games for the console for the brand new consoles, I'm sitting here like, really, then what are those games? Really? You don't see those games for the new consoles sitting right over there. You should not expect a library of games for the new consoles. And that is why Portal 3 and Half-Life 3 should, will, in fact, be for not only the old consoles, but the new consoles. Now, When will Portal 3 and Half-Life 3 come out? There is a four year difference between Portal 1 and Portal 2. So we're coming towards that four years next year, 2015 for Portal 3, or for between Portal 2 and Portal 3. Should we see an extra year? Should we see an extra two years? Or will we see something at E3? Really, we'd have to wait. More importantly, who will Valve announce it for exclusively to PlayStation or Xbox because there is no podium for PC there's no such thing as a podium for PC PC has no place at E3 people say well there's really no repre uh, representative for the PC market unless Steam or someone from Valve makes a podium or a booth as in or a conference as Valve and Steam and for the PC market then and only then would there be the PC market till then I don't see the PC market being at E3 To be honest, there should be a PC booth or something over there because PC gamers care about mods because that's basically the only thing PC people care about is the stupid mods. Who plays a game for a mod? Seriously. This is the problem with Grand Theft Auto V. This is why Grand Theft Auto 5 will be worse on the PC. Because people will only care about mods. So Portal 3, maybe next year. We'll have to wait and see for E3. Also for, for E3 next year, I want to expect Black Mesa or Half-Life 3 to be confirmed or announced at E3 next year. We'll have to wait and see.
so then maybe just maybe it will be announced at some of these other game conventions around the world I know there's Gamescon over at Tokyo or wherever that's at it's somewhere over in, in the Asian countries excuse me not, ugh, excuse me if I'm wrong but I don't know where Gamescon is originally at but it's either in China or in Japan I don't really remember and I do know that there's E3 that everybody's looking forward to every year and of course several other gaming conventions that the, the different companies respectfully do I know Sony has their own little gaming convention for PlayStation and I'm not sure if Microsoft has their own little gaming convention for Xbox but um, I believe that there should be a booth for the PC people and if there's not one person who could represent them why not Steam because Steam is a major utility for PC gamers. Whenever someone tells me about PC gaming, they usually talk about Steam. So that's really that. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video off right here and right now. So I will talk to you guys later and give it some thought. Seriously, Portal 3 and Half-Life 3 is coming. It might not be called Portal 3 or Half-Life 3, but it's coming. Don't worry, people. It's coming. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, do whatever. I'll see you guys next time.